in this problem, we have a kid of mass 40 kilograms on the edge of a merry-go-round that's already rotating at three radians per second, so slightly less than one rotation per second. The merry-go-round itself has a mass of 250 kilograms, radius of two and a half meters. And as this kid makes his way to the center, well, that's more mass going closer to the center of rotation, and that causes the moment of inertia to go down. For angular momentum to be conserved, the rotation rate must go up. So we're going to try to find that final angular velocity when the kid arrives at the center. So we start by saying L initial equals L final, assuming the bearings in this thing are good enough that we can ignore any external torque on the system. And my initial angular momentum is going to be I initial, omega initial. My final is I final, omega final. And my initial moment of inertia has two different components to it. There's the heavy disk, so the merry-go-round itself, so I'm going to subscript that with a D. And then there's the kid, and a point mass has a moment of inertia just given by mr squared. So I have the mass of the kid standing right on the edge of the disk. That means we have the same radius there. Times omega initial is equal to the final moment of inertia. Well, in the final state, to a good approximation, the kid has a radius of zero, standing right on the center. Now, real people have some width to them, but still, the moment of inertia is going to be negligible that close to the center. So all I have left at the end is just the heavy disk component. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 2, and then I'll start solving for omega final. So omega final is going to be mass of the disk plus twice the mass of the kid. I'm factoring a little bit here. So I'm taking this old left-hand side, and I'm factoring it. I'm going to factor a radius of the disk squared out of there times omega initial. And then in my denominator, mass of the disk radius of the disk squared and it turns out just because the kid started right on the edge um, my radius is going to cancel out in this case so I get just mass of the disk plus twice the mass of the kid over the mass of the disk times omega initial that gives me 250 plus twice 40 divided by 250 times 3 radians per second. And when I run the numbers, I get 3.96 radians per second. 